Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and welcome to the 11th episode of Elevate with Ankara. Elevate with Ankara is a series that myself and Cherie of Cherie Thomas are doing on our channel to showcase how you can elevate your patterns with Ankara fabric. Sherry and I both have a playlist of all the different episodes that we have done so far and that will be in the description box below so if you want to go ahead and check out some of those previous videos where we've made other garments and had interviews you can definitely check that out but for today's video we are showcasing early spring dresses yes so our next garment that we are going to be making is going to be an early spring dress and that is what i'm going to be featuring here on the channels today i have about seven patterns that i would like to show you so when i was picking out these different patterns to show you all i did have some things to consider because of the weather here I live in Northern Indiana and here in Northern Indiana, our early springs are cool. We even have snow during the early spring and then we'll have some warm days. So it's very inconsistent weather. So I had to make sure that I picked out dresses that would serve purposes for the type of weather that we would get. I know Cherie lives in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, and she has cooler temperatures as well, but they don't get as cool as here. So what she picks out and what I pick out may be different. So you definitely wanna make sure that you stop over to her channel and watch her video to see which dresses she picked out to choose from. And again, for me, because of my weather being on the cooler sides most of the time, and then, you know, randomly changing or suddenly changing, I should say, I decided to pick out dresses that had some sleeve to it. Okay, not long sleeve for all, but had some sort of sleeve. I cannot, absolutely not go sleeveless okay so you will see sleeves in mine and then another thing that i like to do when i am picking out my garments for Ankara fabric is i try to make sure that there are few lines as possible to pick from and the reason why is because Ankara fabric has most of the time have large prints on them and I prefer to not cut through them as much as possible. So the fewer pattern pieces, the better for me. And that's what I've gone for. So I hope you like what I picked out. Please let me know in the comment section which pattern piece was your favorite and which one you could see me making. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos and I will go ahead and get started. All right, so for the first pattern that I have to show you, this is McCall 7862 and this is described as Mrs. Dress and it is rated as easy to sew and it, it's also described as a loose fitting online dress that has back hook and eye closures, side seam pockets and sleeve and hem variations. Um, view A here has a contrast. So this is your view A with the contrast here. View B has the grommets and I think it's a nice touch here. And it also says that view D has cuffed hems here. So here's your cuffed hems and it also speaks of this curved hem for view D okay and so i think this is a very cute pattern to be honest i wouldn't do too much as far as elevating this look other than to bring out the raglan detail so how would i do that i would probably just use some piping in between the seams of the sleeves if i did not use the grommets the grommets itself and ankara fabric would definitely elevate the look itself just with that alone so if i made vb i wouldn't even need anything other than the tools to make the dress okay and um one other thing that i really like about this dress is i really love how wide this 
band is for the collar. It's really, really nice. I like a wide band. Um, but if I were to make this dress, I would either make view D or B. Both would be appropriate for my early spring because of the fact that, you know, it just really is not very warm warm you know and then there's days where you might get some warm and then there's days that you get your like even more so cold so yeah i think this is a good in between type of dress i would be like i said comfortable with either bc or d honestly so let's look at the line drawings here are the line drawings for views a b and c the views are all the same from the back um, they all have this, you know, little opening with a hook and eye. Um, but yeah, the only differences are how the sleeves are. This has your contrast. This has your grommets. And then your pleated raglan sleeve. And then the longer raglan sleeve. So yeah, I thought this was a very good option. And... A great possibility to make as an early spring dress so let's go ahead and move on to the next and surprisingly this is the only McCall's pattern that I actually found good enough for my early spring to actually put on the list so we're gonna go over to the simplicity website now all right so this first simplicity pattern that we're gonna visit here is simplicity 9474 and there's actually a sister pattern to this that is simplicity 9473 uh, the difference is the size chart okay so the 9474 is the pattern that I'm going to discuss with you which is the same the difference is this <laughs> it's size 18 through 32 and i typically wear between an 18 to 20 in women so that's the reason why i'm going to focus on this the sewing rating for this is average and the description is women's dresses and jacket and it's also described as having a v-neck or jewel neckline and has a flared skirt optional three quarter length sleeves and a self belt um, backs have invisible zippers and back waist darts princess seam jacket has shaped hemlines and is fully lined so let's take a closer look at the different views view a here is sleeveless with a uh, v-neck view b has the v-neck with the sleeves view b sleeveless with the jewel neck and obviously you could take the jewel neck and put the sleeves on it and the model here is wearing view b i think this is super cute um and here is your jacket down here now as far as how i would elevate this to be honest I don't think anything really needs to be done with this. I think you could just make this with a car fabric and leave it the way it is because there's so much dress to this to where it'll be fine. Um, there is this little princess seam in here and I don't like a lot of lines in my Ankara mix because I don't like the designs to be broken up, but there's so much here in the front. Um, that's just a solid a nice solid piece in the front I should say to where I don't feel like those princess seams will affect anything and it would look just fine so let's take a look at the line drawings or the line art <laughs> and here is your line art just beautiful and to be honest I have kind of gone away from v-necks if I made this dress, I would certainly go for this view C with the sleeves because I can't do sleeveless right now, okay? But this is a cute little spring dress. This would even be good, you know, for color blocking in the princess seams or even putting the piping, like I had mentioned in the previous pattern, to bring it out a little bit more in these princess seams. I really, I really do like this one a lot and if i wanted to add a bonus i could certainly add the line jacket and yeah I would, if i did that i would make it in a solid color to match whatever dominant cover is within the ankara fabric so yes very good option 
And for viewing purposes, this is the sister pattern right here that goes to 9474, which I just showed you. This is what the pattern cover looks like in the smaller size packet. So the next pattern that I have here is Simplicity 9225. And this is a Mrs. Dress pattern. And it is rated as average for sewing and it comes in three lengths with and without the stand collar and has a bodice and skirt details and the sleeves can be long or shorter raglan sleeves and it also has a self belt okay and let me blow this up here so we can see it a little closer so here is view a view B and then the model is wearing view C. So for me I would make what the model is wearing or I would make view B but use the band on the model's shirt okay. I will not make this in the uh, the higher neckline option because we're going to be moving on into summer pretty soon after the spring and I want to to be a little bit more versatile. I think these flare sleeves here would be perfect for the early spring with the banded neckline combined. And like I said, this sleeve is fine too, but when it comes to like getting in the late spring, you may not be able to wear it as much, you know, when it starts getting hotter. So yeah, it really is a good option. And let's take a look at the line drawings. So here are the line drawings here. And here's your flutter sleeve, your longer sleeve. And here is the band that I spoke of. So just imagine this cut shorter with the band. And I think that would give you a perfect spring dress. Now, there are uh, darts in here. And I still think it's okay um, because of how big the other pieces are. There's some darts going all the way down actually in the skirt and that may be yeah I, honestly it says petal detail so those are not darts i think they're connected however i still think that this would be okay just as long as you match the ankara prints up close to each other like i said i wouldn't do much with this pattern i would just make this as is with the smaller neckband and not the stand and then I have Simplicity 9329. This is actually kind of like a bonus. Look for an early spring dress because I have actually made this. Um, so I'm not gonna make this because I've made it before and I wanna make something that I have not made before, but I wanted to showcase this pattern because I made this in an Ankara print and it went so well. Okay, it, I really enjoyed this dress. I still enjoy this dress and it fits so well so this is an option for you um, that I just thought I would show there is a sew along that goes to this that Mimi put on her uh, channel and on the simplicity channel but here is a close-up of the dress here and you can see in this photo she is actually wearing Ankara fabric and it's definitely giving us fashion okay and it definitely elevated the look although i do like her denim look over here it looks great but then when you look at this ankara print is just so vibrant and fun and you know the sleeves are the perfect length for spring you have your v-neck even though i'm not like so crazy over v-neck right now i still like them i will still wear them and it looks fabulous in this dress so this is an option for a U as well and here is the align art um, this was the only problem that I had with that pattern because I didn't like my back to be exposed especially because I have to wear a bra because I'm busty so what I did was I found a cami that I had at home actually it was um, it matched my fabric perfectly in the royal blue color that the was the main color in my fabric and I just added on and it just blended right in and I didn't have to worry about my back being exposed but the cutout is there so and this is your bonus pattern 
And then we have Vogue 9239. This is such an awesome pattern pack. I have had this pattern package for a long time, have not gotten to it. I had started a series on my channel called my summer dress series and I was supposed to sew one of these dresses. I didn't get around to it. So I'm gonna pick it back up and I may even just start with, even though it's not summer, but I may just pick it back up and make one of these dresses or either make one, a, one view now and one view for a actual summer dress. But yes, this is such a great value pack because you have several different types of sleeves here. And then you have some that are sleeveless. So you have view B that has these type of sleeves here. You can see it up here. You have view A that's sleeveless, view C that has like a straight skirt and then, you know, the princess seams and, you know, nice big poofy sleeve here with the bell. And then you have view D, this would be perfect for the summer dress. And then you've got these sleeves again here with the nice fluffier type of skirt, full skirt. So yeah, I, I just really, really love these options. Now, it says that this pattern is easy for sewing and it also is flattering for every body type. As you can see here, every symbol is showing for all the different body types. So yeah, I just think this is a great option. It has a fitted bodice and it has front and back princess seams and of can full or slim skirts and sleeve variations. So here are your line drawings in the back. And this is another style of dress to wear when elevating it, I don't feel like you need to do anything much. It's simple enough, but stands out enough to do its own thing. Which dress would I make for early spring? That is a good question. Um, I think I would go with maybe <laughs> ear F. These two right here. The reason being is because I love a full skirt, okay? Number two, I need a little bit of sleeve. This sleeve is the same as B, so it doesn't go all the way down to the wrist. So it still will give you some spring feels. And the reason why I said F is because I just love a bell sleeve. Um, it may come off across as a little wintry, but <laughs> yeah. So E would probably be the best for early spring, but I definitely love this F and I know eventually you'll see it. <laughs> so that was the only pattern within the Vogue uh, group that I really felt like would be worth showcasing. And plus there's a lot of patterns or a lot of options I should say within this pattern package to where you can kind of, you know, depending on where you live, you can, you can get a nice early spring dress out of this. So we are going to go over to butter it because I did find a couple over there. So let's go take a look. All right. So we are now at the butter site and the first pattern that stood out to me is butter it six, two, four, two. This is a Mrs. Roosh waisted dress. Okay, the rating is average for sewing and the description is pullover dress that has continuous self bias binding for neck and sleeve hems, a batu neckline, three quarter dolman sleeves, a semi fitted bodice cut on crosswise grain, bias gathered cummerbund with stay, skirt variations, and a side zipper. And view A has a flared skirt cut on the cross right grain and a narrow hem. And B has a straight skirt with back vent. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the Batu neckline. I've heard people call it a boat, but it is pronounced Batu neckline super super cute i love the dolman sleeves and i love this rouged cover bun the flare skirt is everything for me so basically if i made it i am definitely making 
view A. How would I elevate it? I would, again, not trying to be boring, but this would just does it all. I don't feel like you would need to do anything extra. I think what would really give it some extra oomph is just the fact that that cummerbund is rouged. So it's going to give like detail of the fabric just kind of like crunched together and it's going to make it stand out. You could also use a different color. You can use a contrasting color for the cover bun. But me personally, I think I would just stick with all one fabric and just let the bunching of the Ankara fabric in the cover bun area draw that uh, like extra attention to the dress. I think that would be so, so nice. So yes, I just love this look and it is a retro 60s, but I'm here for it. So here are the line drawings in the back here. And here's another photo of, you know, how you can see where it's a root. Yeah, as you can see, this right here, like she's wearing all a nice floral print and it's all one type of a fabric and it, you can still see how this cummerbund here stands out. And so that's what I would do as well. All right, then we have Butterick 6654. This is considered one of the fast and easy patterns from Butterick. It is Mrs. Children's and Girls Dress and Sash. And it's a fitted wrap dress that has neck facings and front yoke with pleats and closes in the front with a hook and bar and inner tie closure. Um, no provisions provided for above waist or hip adjustments. So pretty interesting there. And let's go ahead and take a look at this line art here. So this is what it looks like in the front and the back. And you just have like two type of darts here at the shoulder. And then it looks like the back is two different pieces. So um, it doesn't look like a lot of lines will be broken up in this fabric. This model right here and the little girl, they are wearing Ankara fabric and they're just wearing it as is. I would do the same. Um, you can't really see the little darts here but that's okay i just think that you know the fact that it's a wrap skirt and yet you can see that in this area right here just kind of helps bring it out but i would make this as is as well i don't see where you could do too much to like contrast the ankara with a different type of print but i do think it's pretty i have not worn flutter sleeves like this before but I do have this pattern. I have every pattern that I'm showing you all. Um, I just don't want to dig it out of my stash. And I think it's easier to just kind of see it here on the screen. So this is definitely a look and a definitely a good option for a nice spring dress. I love this length, you know, with the spring, with it being kind of cool sometimes. You got a little sleeve and you got some coverage down here as well. And then I have Butterick 6806. This is a Mrs. and Women's Dress, and it has a V-neck with an elastic waist and sleeve and skirt variations. And I really, really like this pattern. I actually saw someone on Instagram that made a dress that was pretty much identical to this. Um, it was an indie pattern. I can't recall which indie pattern it was, but I absolutely fell in love with that dress that she had on. And because I don't like to tape my patterns together, I did find a dupe for it, which is this right here. And so this has been like on the running for me and I have not forgotten about it. What I like about this pattern right here for the early spring is the fact that it has sleeves. It has this nice little V opening and then the good little normal length. But I also like this look over here, which is the view B, because you get, I mean, it's like the same dress, but it, they look different, you know, because of the skirt variations. It totally turns it into a different looking dress just from these skirt ruffle thingies here, or the layers, I should say. So I really like that. Um, and also this one is a little bit more casual because of the 
bust pockets and then she doesn't have it so with the Ankara fabric I would probably go for this look view B I'd probably go for this look um, just be just because of how much more fancy the fabric is for Ankara fabric with these skirt layers I don't believe there is nothing else that needs to be done it was just look fabulous and then that little bit of a puff sleeve with the elastic around the wrist it, I think it would just be bring it all out so all of my patterns that I'm sharing for, with you today none of them you know had like oh contrast this contrast that these are patterns that kind of merge together to become this masterpiece of a garment well i hope you enjoyed that little overview of the early spring patterns that i would pick from to make and hopefully you were inspired by some of the patterns that i showed you again let me know which one is your favorite one or which one you like most or see me wearing you know any of those things again i will be making one of these patterns and the plan is, is if all goes well we will be posting these makes our finished makes both sheree and i on the 28th of this month okay so stay tuned to the channel to see the final makes thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i'll see you in the next video bye